All right, so um, uh, having vision problems, deteriorating, deteriorating eyesight, and, and also um, loss of vision in one particular eye, plus also problems with feet and movement. Um, so for me, uh, the way I look at that, I mean, I sort of see everything as being karmic, meaning nothing happens by accident. And often, um, now there's uh, many different ways I would, I, would, uh, I would work to clear away the underlying roots of vision and feet problems. Um, the first thing is, I mean, it can be a multiple of things, but it's, um, uh, one of the things I would do is, as a general thing, is you, I can cancel my belief that I have poor vision or uh, poor deteriorating eyesight. I can cancel my belief in whatever it is, arthritic feet or bad feet. Um, the Course in Miracles Lesson 14 says to be as specific as possible. So the more specific, in like for example, I cancel my belief I've got left foot pain, or I cancel my belief in right eye, uh, right eye problems, whatever it is. I think one of my tips is, um, I remember, if you get a medical diagnosis, a professional diagnosis, that's even better because you can then cancel that because usually what doctors or psychiatrists label you with is a, what's called a collective belief system. So you, now that you know what it's called, you can cancel it more, more efficiently than not knowing what it is. So it just allows you to be more specific. Like people, like doctors would do surgery, if they know exactly what the problem is, they can cut it out. And with the belief system, if you know exactly what the belief is, uh, you can have a more effective treatment and a, a more efficient treatment. But it doesn't matter. Uh, if, you have, if you don't know exactly what it is, you just do a general treatment and the specifics will later unfold. So you can just start off with a cancer, my belief in poor eyesight or deteriorating eyesight. There are certain things with uh, aging. There are collective belief systems within humani humanity around aging which uh, we all subscribe to and which we need to delete as, as you get older. So it could be there's a collective belief system that in general eyesight deteriorates at a, rap a more rapid rate maybe from the 40s onwards. I think that's probably a collective belief. So you would cancel age-related loss of vision. Cancel it, cancel it. If you get a medical diagnosis or wait with nearsighted, short-sighted, whether it's an infection, whether it's a retina problem, uh, you can cancel those. Then, um, uh, now looking to the the karmic or the symbolic meaning of why you know, well eyesight. So, for example, I remember Hawkins saying he was going blind and he did some um, muscle testing to find out what was the root. And he was a Buddhist in a previous lifetime, and he didn't want to see temptation. So um, he didn't want to see temptation. So it was like. Um, uh, he be, so obviously the belief was if he becomes blind then he doesn't have to see temptation in the world so that was one way of dealing, <laughs> dealing with it he didn't want to see the world really and be tempted by it so you then find out so you can, if you want your eyesight back you can cancel your belief that, uh, that you know, there's anything in the world to tempt you or find out specifically what it was you were fearful about being tempted by um, also, uh, a lot of these illnesses are uh, what I call karmic undoing, which is what you've done to others comes back uh, for you to undo through experiencing what you've done to others in this lifetime. So if, if you're unable to clear it before uh, uh, in time with other clearing techniques, often it just hits you. What you've done to others comes back and hits you slap in the face. So it's like, you know, for example, if you punch someone in the eye, in a previous lifetime, they lost their eyesight for the rest of their life. Their life, then in this, uh, and you punch them at maybe the age of 50, and then their vision starts going bad. Then at, at this age, in order to release that karma, um, you start going blind in one eye, and then, and then you're sort of paying off through experiencing what you've done to others in yourself. Well, it can be metaphorically, like uh, for example, um, it can be that you're in a relationship where you, at a certain part of you, wishes you weren't in it. So you just you just think, well, I'd rather be blind to what's going on, uh, so I don't have to suffer for the situation I'm in. So, so you can um, 
and you then you see so you see there's a deeper spiritual meaning is is there is there something that you're not in harmony with in your current relationships which is creating blindness in you which you need to sort of clear and if you're not sure what it is you can pray pray to God for a miracle uh, and for it to be revealed to you in truth what it is that the the, the blindness is a is a symbol for and why it's manifesting uh, in you so sometimes that will Sometimes you might have to do some clearing work and, and, and then it's revealed later on or some general counselling uh, to find find out. Lou's Hayes book, yeah, it can be very helpful. Um, maybe you want to control the situation, you can't control it, so you'd rather be blind to it as you feel powerless over the situation. Um, you know, it can also be, um, uh, it can also be something like a, Quite often, I mean, it can be metaphorical. In a li in a prior lifetime, I blinded people through telling them mistruths, so they were blind to the truth because I actually gave information which was le le which was kind of blinding them in a metaphorical way. So maybe um, to pay back that karma, you're taking on blindness in a literal way. So you can you can fish that out, or you can you, you can pray. Another way is you can intuitively. Um, figure out what the belief systems are. If something resonates with you, like uh, I want to be blind in this situation, it feels like there's a resonance, then it probably is a belief that's active in you. Um, with the feet, yeah, it can be like mo movement. Um, <clears throat> you know, also things like arthri arthritis is can be related to things like inflexibility in your life. And, and being stuck in your ways, and so then the body manifests uh, inflexibility or arthritis or feet problems. Or um, it can be um, uh, you're, you perceive yourself that you're in an environment which is inflexible, and so you're sort of manifesting a symbol of that, and your, your, your body is sort of manifesting the inflexibility of the environment you're currently choosing to stay in. So it can be a lot of things that you can cancel or forgive or pray for a miracle to see differently. Uh, now often with these things like eyesight, it can be a number of things and you just have to do a bit of investigation, a bit of clearing work and then try and get a resonance to see um, exactly what is the root belief systems or karmic, karmic dynamics that you need to clear. If you if you think if you feel there's no resonance with a certain thing, I don't think it's that inflexibility, or I don't think I've blinded others, or I don't think uh, I want to be blind in the situation, or I don't think it's from past life. You know, you're just finding out what seems to resonate. Um, often, when you do do the clearing work, you'll feel like a lightness afterwards, which probably means you're on the right track in whether it's forgiveness or cancelling beliefs or clearing something. So, um, otherwise, um, even um, indirect work will clear it, like step work it might, might just hit, the, you know, a load of resentments and fears may actually be dealing with indirectly what's creating um, the resentments and fears that are creating um, blindness. It could just generally be a low level of consciousness, resentments and fears clogging up. Uh, but there's usually a, a deeper meaning, like why is it blindness and not something else, and why is it feet problems and not something else, there's usually a metaphorical reason. It can be quite literal, like for example, um, uh, when you get to high levels of consciousness, you often get flashbacks of prior lifetimes, they just come to you when things are happening, which happened to Hawkins. So he went in for a hernia operation, and then he had this sort of, uh, I think, horrific pain in his groin. And he had a flashback to a past lifetime where he speared a soldier on the battlefield in the groin and didn't finish him off and let, let him just uh, have a grim, lingering death and not give him mercy and just finish him off quickly. So he then had that flashback to that lifetime and then realised he was just paying back that karma for what he did to others. It was now manifesting in the horrific pain in his groin through an operation. So it can be related to prior lifetimes of what one has done to others coming back to be undone through, uh, I, I call it karmic undoing. So those would be some of the things I would uh, work on just to try and, and clear that.